And uh, tonight, a teenager with autism has had a dream come true. Leah Philby from Gloucestershire has just finished her GCSEs and wanted to arrive at her school prom escorted by a convoy of motorcycles. Our Gloucestershire reporter Steve Nibbs was there as she made a grand entrance with 70 bikes a few moments ago. Well, welcome to the barn at Barclay, where the prom for the class of 2023 from Sir William Romney School is getting underway behind me. And in the last half an hour, Leah has arrived with her cavalcade of motorbikes, and it looked absolutely fantastic. When I met her earlier, you could tell that this was going to be a big moment for her. And if you've ever taken any of your children to a prom, you'll know that this isn't necessarily what you see. So good for Leah. She told me that she's had many challenges growing up. She started at a special school and then went into mainstream education. And she's also had to deal with how society views her. But I can tell you one thing, she's overcome all of it against all of those challenges to make it to the school prom tonight. Something that many young people, of course, take for granted coming to a party like this, but I know that Leah is going to enjoy every second of it with her friends. And it was a pleasure to meet her and her mum earlier on today. In year seven, I just had to hide who I was and I wanted to be normal. So I literally just hid who I was until like the end of year 10, start of year 11. I was like, I am so bored. Nothing interesting goes on in my life. Let me just turn into actually myself and since then everything's just gone like uphill i've got a lot more friends now it seems like you know being myself has gave me popularity <laughs> <laughs> leah was diagnosed with autism age three and often got frustrated in not being able to communicate speech and language therapy and specialist support change that and now well she's just finished all of her gcse's and I think we were really worried about the GCSEs, weren't we? Because Leah really struggled with her SATs exams. I failed all of them. With the anxiety and the stress of that. And that was actually when Leah lost her hair. And so we were really conscious about how she was going to act with the GCSEs. But you've done amazing, haven't you? Leah's autism has meant that people have sometimes put barriers up to her by not understanding the condition. And she wants society to change its attitude towards those whose disabilities aren't always obvious. But the people are like, oh, you don't look autistic. Oh, I'm sorry, let me just be really obsessed with trains for a second. Let me, you know, not speak. Let me be all severe autistic for you. And they're like, no, but you just don't look it. And I'm like, what's autistic look like? And some people are like, I could tell. And some other people are like, no, you're not. Stop faking. And I'm like, do you want my diagnosis papers? <laughs> and I think that's hard sometimes, isn't it? When people don't understand that oh, you so have annoying. got autism and you get frustrated with people when they think that you should act a certain way. Yeah, it's so annoying. And, then we've got the... and tonight, a big oh, moment, the lovely. school prom. Leah's ready with her outfit, but also wanted something a bit different. She'll be arriving with a convoy of motorbikes. The noise would be annoying, but that's fine. I love it. It'll be fun. I want to impress people. <laughs> I wanted something like different because I know most of my friends are just going in cars or limos and I want a whole motorcycle escort, you know? I want to impress people. Aren't all the popular kids go, whoa! <laughs> well, in the last hour, Leah did arrive in style, ready to party with her friends to celebrate more than just making it through their GCSEs, celebrating being who you are, no matter the differences. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, Barclay. What a super person. Enjoy your school prom tonight. Didn't have those in my day. Got a bottle of pop if you were lucky.